Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the week ahead and that is the week starting Monday the 5th of August. Wow, wow, what a week. We have a lot of fire around this week and yes, on Sunday, finally, Jupiter goes direct. Yay, brilliant. Okay, we're going to backtrack. Oh, and you might be wondering why I am not in London. Well, let me assure you, I am. I'm making this um, vlog before I go. I thought it made sense. Anyway, we're backtracking. We're back at the beginning of the week. What I like about this week, actually, is that on Tuesday, the moon is going into Scorpio. Why? Well, there's a lot of fire around. There's a lot of optimism around. There's a lot of lift. There's a lot of soaring space. A lot of... <gasps> we're going up. And then we get this moon in Scorpio coming in on Tuesday and so I'm thinking we have to go deep midweek we have to go deep midweek it doesn't mean because on Wednesday we've got Sun trying Jupiter right so it doesn't mean we have to lose our sense of thankfulness our sense of gratitude our sense of joy of life our sense of you know sharing things that you know uplift us that lift our spirits but on the other hand with the moon in Scorpio we're going deep we're not avoiding the underbelly. We're not avoiding the painful pages that are there as well. We're willing to look at them. We're willing to engage. We're willing to go there. Scorpio invites us in, invites us to come down into the depths, into the underbelly, into the primal stuff, into the pain, into the, you know, the stuff in a way that is quirky, but also um, difficult you know Scorpio is never the easiest area to be and yet that depth that sense of bravery when facing um, difficult life challenges no one faces that sort of stuff better than Scorpio and the moon in Scorpio it's intense it feels things intensely and it's and we're being pulled into that zone on Tuesday and Wednesday and at the same time we have a Sun-Jupiter trine going on on Wednesday, which is, as I said, Sun-Jupiter trine is thankfulness, it's gratitude, it's enjoyment of and in life. You know, it's that saying, in the midst of life, we are in death. It's that kind of energy, isn't it, with Sun and Jupiter trining in fire, but this Moon in Scorpio. I like, I like this energy going on there. Thursday, we get Venus trine Jupiter, which is good because Venus is in Leo. So, you know, it's saying, yeah, my needs are important. What I want, my will, it's, it matters. I have to speak my truth. I have to be sincere. I have to share what I think. This is um, a kind of boost to relationships, all kinds of relationships, because Jupiter in Sag, certainly kind of slowing down here already, is very inclusive. Jupiter in Sag is saying, okay, join in come with us we can you know we can all pull together we can all do this together jupiter is very much about hey join the party everyone's invited you know it's inclusive but venus in leo is saying yeah but my needs i have to keep an eye on what i want i have to bring that in as well so there's many voices there there's many sort of um there's many different shall we say egos coming into play and yet in a way with all this sort of trying in fire going on you know the idea thing is is very much about we can start a fire we can set things alight we can do this so it's a very galvanizing kind of energy I find I kind of quite like this and there's also that sense as well certainly by Thursday because we've got that Venus trying Jupiter where there's a great deal of optimism in terms of group efforts working together travel plans study plans finding you know the right niche for yourself and then on Thursday, we get the moon coming into Sagittarius. Yeah, well, then the spirits really can start to rise. You know, this is really kind of light energy. It lifts up. The spirits go up. Um, so, yeah, and then we get into, uh, say, Saturday. We have, again, we, then we have the sun trying the moon, the moon in Sag. Yeah, I mean, how much fire can we get? I mean, the temperature here has dropped. But astrologically, you know, it's a blaze this week. And fire is about inspiration, as I said. Fire is about setting things alight, the fire starter, that idea. You know, the thing is when there's a lot of fire we need as well, and that's where Saturn in Capricorn is good, although, yeah, I mean, he's also at the moment 
um, is he retrograde if he's not yeah he is so um, you know but we do need to put borders in with fire because otherwise it becomes wildfire oh yeah that's a good idea let's do this and, you know and then you know reality bites at the end of it so we do need borders this week we do need to um, you know not not promise too much not you know not overreach and that because that's a big danger as well with Jupiter always and the sun trying um, the moon on Saturday with the moon in Sag and Jupiter's sign you know this is the risk this is the the downside of all this wonderful energy but having said that on the day that um, Jupiter goes direct we get again that pulling us down energy the moon goes into Capricorn earthy two feet on the ground realism you know that kind of these kind of like you know moon in Scorpio moon in Capricorn they earth us in this flight if you like so it doesn't just become a flight of fancies that isn't all talk you know that we can actually walk the walk as well so this is great and then as I say on Sunday as well we've got Jupiter going direct so all things long term all our plans for the future all our big dreams we at least can sort of get an angle on them we can I don't know moon in Capricorn maybe write them down at least you know kind of do a forced up plan or something like that but things are moving and then on top of that we've got the sun uh, so we've got Mercury moving into Leo as well on Sunday I mean so we have Sun Mercury Venus Mars we have the whole club we have the full house there in Leo all these planets that are close to the Sun are all in there so yeah you know this is wildfire this is you know set things alight this is you know inspirational sort of thoughts and ideas circulated in the collective and don't forget you know thoughts have the power to move words have the power to move this is quite magical in a way so it's very important I think that we um, don't waste this energy don't like um, just you know make sure that we put something that we contain that fire that we bundle it so that we can really you know cook something okay that was my view of the week have a great time I will be back. Bye.